Welcome to Free Your Mind Reviews. This is Chris Johnson with a review of Burden. So Burden deals with the story of a member of the KKK in 1996 who is a part of a specific group who opens a KKK museum in a small town while the black community protests it. And it's mostly about his struggle with his beliefs. He's been KKK pretty much all his life. Meets a woman, a woman who's anti-KKK, loves her, loves her child, and her influence and him basically being, you know, talking to this reverend and being near the black community and the fact that the black community, black people uh, looked out for him when he was out and down, kind of sets him on a path of redemption. Uh, it's okay. It was fine. It kind of has the same problem for me that, uh, C Seberg had, but at the same time, I find the lead actor in the, probably the acting overall, a little more interesting than that film in terms of, uh, it's like a, bl it's, it's, it's a black situation through a white white eyes, you know, white lens to the point that even our problems are about them. You know, it's just a personal thing. Um, even though this is a interesting story in itself, uh, what I, I think what I would have liked was a little bit more of a balance and just like Seabird, it could have been even a little longer or, or the first half could have been cut down a little bit, uh, for me because I feel like the main gist of the movie, KKK member having to be taken in by Black Minister and start the course of redemption, it felt like it didn't seem to happen. The main gist didn't happen until the last 40 minutes of the movie. And this is an hour and 57 minutes. You know. Like, it does, a very, it does well with setting up his KKK affiliations and relationship. Uh... Setting up his relationship with the mother and her son, you know, making it believable that they'd be into each other, even making it believable that she'd be into him despite what he does and what he is, but making a stand that she's not with it. But then, you know, once it gets to uh, them having to be taken in by the black minister, the black reverend, and his course of changing in terms of the black people he sees. Let's just say this movie's not American History X. When it comes to giving equal play to both the trials and the redemption side of this, the racist KKK type character. You know? I think if it, if, if it gave a little bit more play on the second half of the movie to what was really the main gist of the movie... Um, I think, I think it would have came off a little bit better. Um, like, it's just one of those movies that's, is fine, but there's like a very good movie in here. It just doesn't stick the landing. Um, Garrett, Garrett, uh, Garrett Hedlund is very good. Forrest Whitaker is very good, but at the same time, I actually felt like, it's weird to say this, I thought he was underused. I could have used more of him. And that kind of goes into... The feeling of they didn't do enough with that second half of the film. Tom Wilkinson's great. Uh, and uh, Andrea Riseborough's great. Um, but yeah, the only problem I really had was I wish there was a little bit more time to play with the main gist of the movie with how his life is you know, living under the roof of a black man and, you know, how it changes him, you know? Like, I feel like you see it in the, in the acting more so than the writing. So those are my thoughts on Burden. Had potential, but doesn't truly, truly stick the lightning.